Hey guys, Miss Mac here. Um, today I wanted to read you a story. Um, I just bought this book. Um, it's called Simon's Hook. It's a story about teases and put downs. And I had sent out a lesson for teachers about teasing the other day. So I thought this would be a perfect book for us. It's kind of long, um, but it's a really good book. And I know a lot of my counselor friends use it and the students love it. So I thought I'd read this to you today. All right. Just got to remember how to get it so that you can see. It was a bad hair day for Simon. First, his sister lost her gum. Then she found it in his hair. When she tried to fix it, she went snip, snip and a big chunk of his hair was gone. Not good. He grabbed his hat and ran outside, hoping no one would see. And we can kind of tell by the picture, he is not happy. And no one did see until Simon fell and lost his hat. That's when Joey yelled, what happened to your hair? Everybody turned to look. Who cut it? Nicole asked. What did they use? A lawnmower? Miguel said as he laughed. Hey, lawnmower head, Joey said. Simon grabbed his hat and started to leave. I've got to go home, he said as he stomped away. I've got chores to do. Don't forget to cut the lawn, said Nicole. Everyone laughed. Everyone but Simon. Simon ran and ran. He ran until he couldn't see his friends anymore. Why do they make fun of me, he yelled. Why don't they just leave me alone? Simon was so mad, he didn't see Grandma Rose until he ran into her. Whoa, she cried. What's the hurry? I'm going home, Simon cried. Why? asked Grandma Rose. What's wrong? I'm having a bad day, said Simon. A bad hair day. What's wrong with your hair? she asked. Simon took off his hat. Oh, said Grandma Rose, I see. Simon told her about the gum and his sister's haircut. Then he told her what happened at the park. That's too bad, she said. Yeah, and they'll tease me again, said Simon, and I don't know what to do. Grandma Rose shook her head. You do have a problem. Then she asked him something really strange. But why do you bite? Bite? cried Simon. I didn't bite anyone. No, no, no. That's not what I meant. mean. I know you didn't bite anyone, she said. What I mean is, well, wait here. I'll be back in a minute. Grandma Rose disappeared into her garage. When she returned, she was wearing a fishing outfit. On the end of her fishing line was a piece of paper. What's she doing? First she talks about biting, now she's going fishing? You see, Simon, Grandma Rose said as she cast out her line. When people tease you, it's like they're throwing out a hook to see if you'll chase it and bite. Oh, Simon said as he watched the hook fly through the air. Now I see what you're doing. This is a lesson. That's right, said Grandma Rose with a wink. It's a fishing lesson. Today they made fun of your hair, she said, as she dangled the hook in front of Simon. They called you lawnmower head, and you bit. I sure did, he said. Well then, said Grandma Rose, grab the hook. Grandma Rose pulled Simon around the patio. 
I've caught you, she said. You're not a free fish anymore. But what else can I do, cried Simon as he flew through the yard. Grandma Rose put her fishing pole aside and sat down. Well, I know a story that might help, she said. It's a fish story. Would you like to hear it? Sure, said Simon. Grandma Rose took a sip of lemonade and began to talk. Once upon a time, there was a famous fishing spot. People came from miles around to tease the fish with their hooks. When the fish bit, the people would reel them in. Many fish were caught. And it says on the hooks, it says different things, like you look weird. And, um, nah, 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 you, you can't get me. So it's like teasing hooks. <clears throat> these fish bite at everything fish watched as their friends were caught soon there would be no fish left they had to learn how not to bite and they had to learn fast so they talked to the older fish they talked to the sea creatures too they asked questions, they took notes, they studied hooks and they learned. How did you keep from biting all these years? That's what this guy asked. What's your secret? You could just ignore the hooks. I sure hope these fish learn not to bite. <laughs> Instead of biting, so here's some tips. Instead of biting, do little or nothing, so that means like ignore. Agree with the hook, so that means like if the if the hook says you smell, just be like yeah, so what? Number three says distract the fisherman, and what that means is you would just change the subject. Like if someone's teasing you, um, you would say, hey, what's going on tomorrow, or what are we doing in PE today? Number four says laugh or make a joke. Number five says, stay away from the hooks, swim to another part of the sea. So for you guys, that would be like, go find some friends away from the person teasing you. The first idea that they had was to do very little or nothing. Don't react to the hooks. So this hook says, your mom is a big fat tuna. And this guy says, cool. Why chase hooks? Just ignore them and stay free. And this guy is talking about ignoring and they're just playing a game. And they're completely ignoring the hooks. And this turtle says, hey, you two, don't you see this hook? But remember, they're just ignoring. They're all doing their own thing and ignoring the hooks and not getting, not biting. So these hooks say, you have mossy fins. And this one says, hey, four eyes. Hooks are no big deal unless you make them a big deal. So they just go back to what they're doing. Just glance at the hook and go back to what you're doing and ignore. The second idea they had was to agree with the hooks. So this one says, that was a dumb joke. And this fish guy says, it sure was. This hook says, here comes fish breath. And this fish says, that's me. <laughs> this one says, you're caught in the seaweed. And the fish says, yep. So you just don't argue with the person teasing. You just go along with it. It's kind of like ignoring. You don't have to totally agree. You can agree that it could be true. There's just no point in really arguing with someone who's teasing because it just makes them want to do it more. The third idea was to distract the fishermen or change the subject completely. 
Look up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's... Hey, what's up there? Nothing. I'm just trying to distract the fishermen. What I really miss is my seaweed house. I built it last year and then the waves washed it away. It was the neatest little house. Blah, 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 blah. Just changing the subject. Or you can even just talk about something else. This one says, I'll be back in a second. I've got to use the bathroom. But fish don't use bathrooms. And this guy says, shh, he's just changing the subject. And this guy's like, how's the weather up there? Completely changing the subject. The fourth idea was to laugh or joke about the hooks. So this hook says, fatso, you big old whale. And this guy says, Hong Kong whale coming through. Just kind of joking along. This one, this hook says shrimp. And the turtle says, I thought I was a turtle, not a shrimp. This hook says, scaredy cat, scaredy cat. And this little fish says, yikes, did someone say cat? So just kind of laugh and go along with it. Because then the person gets bored. And we talked about that with bullying. If you just laugh and go along with it, then the person teasing you will get bored and go away. And the fifth idea was to just stay away from the person teasing. Swim to another part of the sea. You talk funny, the hook says. Hey, wart face, you lost. And then these guys are saying, just stay away. Let's come and play ball somewhere else. And they're just completely away from the situation. Now the fish don't bite. They don't even chase hooks. He says, groovy, we're free. We're too smart to bite. Yeah, we passed. I'm so proud. So sorry to see you go. Bye. These fish don't bite anymore. Let's go somewhere else. So they're bored, so they're leaving. And your mother's a big fat tuna too, he says. Now, now, honey, don't throw hooks at them. He needs to go back to fish school, this one says. Because we definitely don't ever want to tease back. Because that just makes somebody really mad and then they do more teasing. Grandma Rose leaned back and smiled. And that's how the fish learned to stay free, she said. Simon thought. He thought about the hooks and the fish. He thought about how the fish learned not to bite. Then he said, they can tease me all they want. I won't bite. I'm going to be a free fish too. Good for you, said Grandma Rose. Simon jumped up and ran to the playground. He couldn't, he couldn't wait for someone to say something about his hair. He didn't have to wait long. As Simon ran up, someone yelled, Hey, Lawn Moorhead is back. Yep, I'm back, said Simon. How's the hair? Miguel asked. It's still on my head, said Simon. At least what's left of it. So now he's kind of joking around with them. Simon and Miguel laughed. Did you mow the lawn? Nicole asked. No way, Simon cried. It might end up looking like this. He said, pointing to his head. And now everyone was laughing. So he's just going along with it. Come on, let's play, said Joey as he threw Simon the ball. Simon was a free fish. The end. So, we already learned about things that you can do if you're being teased, but I really like this book um, because the point of it is people really are trying to hook you when they're teasing you. They're trying to get you to react and get upset. They want to see that. So if we don't give them that, then they'll get bored and they'll stop messing with us. So I think that's the whole point of the, of the story. I hope you guys like the story. Thanks.